remember the guy that um uh, Mark Cuban saved? He was a homeless guy, uh, NBA player. He was an <laughs> NBA player for the Cleveland Cavaliers, had all the money in the world, like not all the money in the world, like $30 million, and ended up on a crackhead on the streets of L.A. And not one NBA player went to go That's save him. True. Who, Damn, who saved him? The NBA players tried to help this dude, and because yeah, his yeah, addiction was so problem. strong, he couldn't. Yeah. Like, everybody tried to help this dude. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Then how did Mark Cuban be the one to end up helping him? Because he was ready for help at that well, hold time. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Mark Cuban didn't gonna... help him no more than anybody else did because guess what? He just got locked up yesterday, right? His addiction is so strong, it doesn't matter. Mark Cuban <laughs> was the one. Hold on. Mark Cuban was I, the I, one that got Mark Cuban was the one that got the notoriety for helping him, but other athletes have helped Everybody him. Everybody was trying to help this dude. But no, I've only seen the part where for some reason, for some reason, when Mark Cuban does it, it makes good morning America, it makes this, it makes oh, that. Man, I mean, that's why I was mad. I was like, yo, why is it that this man got help by Mark Cuban? God damn. Hey, yeah, Jabbar, that's your trauma with your past friends, man. You got some problems out here, bro. But I'm gonna yeah, real quick. Man. I listen, I listen. That, one day you're gonna see me living on Jimmy in Jimmy's couch. That's all like I, Kev says <laughs> in listen, a new place. Kev is, Kev is another finance guy. I mean, y'all finance right. guy, you can tell what y'all gonna say. A billion FOH freedom, they'll have a new ninja next year. Freedom is an illusion. Mm, that's a whole other thing. But that's what I say. You got to define freedom. Now, I, I don't want to get into a big philosophical question because I was going to ask it. By the way, we'll be giving away Bitcoin pretty soon. We have a, a great convo because can anyone in this current culture, society, or climate, does anybody actually have freedom? Yes and no. Does anybody, does anybody actually have freedom? Uh, ter uh, the people in other countries, not America. Do they even have freedom? If they, uh, the, the, the Russia, the oil, no, even the oligarchs. I was about to say the oligarchs do, but then I realized is you got Vladimir Putin. Who's exempt from having their stuff taken with a swipe of a pen? I, I, uh, Native I, I, Americans, but even then, no. No, nah, because the U.S. government, if the U.S. government send tanks over there, this, that's that's the end of it. If they if they write if if they if they say listen if they if they if if they in Washington and they and they tell the Pentagon to take some <laughs> tanks over there and take those those hotels I mean those hotels and all the stuff that the the the, the natives got going on over there that's over for them. Ain't no. I, I mean, and again, I want y'all to think stuff. about that. The more you study the world, the more you study like uh, global politics. I start to actually have these thoughts. This anybody, and I mean anybody. You could talk about billionaires, people worth a trillion. Does no, anybody, it's it's really it's really does hard. Anybody because, have real freedom, right? And Mark's temporary freedom, 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 freedom is the right to speak the truth, no matter the consequence, right? So now, here's the thing about that, Mark. We talked about it earlier, right? A lot of people can speak the truth, and you know the consequences of speaking the truth. There's always going to be a consequence. There's always going to be a consequence. truth. But what truth are you speaking? Because here's the thing: everybody believes a certain thing. When I worked at UPS. I never got promoted because I spoke the truth. What to me was, hey, you guys are leaving at five o'clock. I'm here till six because you guys are throwing two people in a truck to hurry up and get done your side, but you're not seeing my side of it. So I would take the boxes and throw in the controller's office. I'd take total gems and I would wild out in, in, in meetings. I would never shut up. I would tell you whatever I thought, I said it into in whoever. And guess what happened? I ended up staying stuck at a certain position. Even though I was the best at what I did, I realized. Like, man, fuck those, 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 were the, those were the consequences. But again, yeah. freedom, of speech, freedom of speech just means that you won't be thrown in jail for your thoughts. It doesn't mean that there's, they're not. There's, there's always consequences to everything you say. It's consequences. Like, like, I live my entire life like that. I live my entire, I still live like that. I talk crazy. I don't care about any of that stuff because if I want something, I can go get it. You, the, I had the freedom of my mind. If I want something, I'm going to go get it. Regardless of what you say or what, and that's you why I fuck with Corey because I think the same way. I say whatever the I say whatever I want, and I don't hold. Yeah. Listen, I say fuck all the time. I curse and everything. No, but I the mean, one I thing know, I did is, 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 no, the thing is, there's, there's, I, I put myself on a on a certain leash because I have partners and I have friends and I and I care about the consequences for those people around me, right? But when it affects just me, I will say anything I feel like. 